So it's June 22nd, and that's one day after the summer solstice. And everything on the farm, as you could probably tell from looking behind me, is exploding. All of the vegetables are going crazy. We're about to start harvesting like crazy. We already are. And uh, it's that time of year where I get overwhelmed and stressed because I have to figure out where all this stuff is going to get sold and how it's going to get harvested and all that fun stuff. But, um, you know, working here for, you know, building this farm, I spent a lot of time alone doing a repetitive task for a couple hours, like harvesting carrots or something like that. And that always gives me a lot of time to think. And one of the things that's been bouncing around my head for the last couple of years is what am I selling? You know, what are vegetables as a food source? And the, I think in America, at least the perception of vegetables is almost like it's this healthy thing I'm supposed to eat, but I don't really like it. You know, it's not really a source of calories. Um, you know, in a survival situation, a lot of people aren't thinking about eating vegetables to sur sustain themselves. And in a lot of ways, that's true. You know, a lot of this stuff behind me is not going to provide you a lot of calories if there's like a real food shortage, you know. But in the same breath, I don't think I'd want to just live off rice and beans in a food shortage situation either. I think that'd be pretty horrible and would cause you a lot of health problems. So what I think I sell is health. I don't sell calories. Um, and so when you buy vegetables at the store, even that's still health. Um, and that word health is a lot of, it's a rabbit hole and three hour video in itself, but I'm going to touch on a little bit of my thoughts of what that means in this video. And hopefully somebody will find it entertaining. The, the direction I'm going to go with that is kind of in the woo woo realm where I want to talk about the life force part of health not necessarily just like the carbohydrates or um vitamins and all the scientific stuff that you can see in a lab but i think there's so many more dimensions to health that come out in certain ways of eating um and especially what it really shines in eating fresh produce which is what i sell and i can tell certain benefits in my uh life just from eating this stuff more intensely at this time of year versus the winter um that happen when i eat this stuff and i think a lot of it has to do with the woo woo direction i'm about to go in in this video so hopefully somebody enjoys this i'm gonna bounce around the farm and kind of riff on this idea and um you know hopefully it's entertaining to somebody so here we go <clears throat> So another idea that bounces around my head a lot around here is the, the question, what is food? And that's a pretty loaded question. And I'm going to look up the dictionary definition of that, put it at the bottom so you can read it while I'm talking, because I actually don't know what it is off the top of my head in the dictionary, but I have my own definition. And in America, um, it appears to me that... Food, the definition of food is mostly ca about calories, carbohydrates, protein, and the vitamins that are on the back of a nutrition label on whatever you buy at the store, uh, especially the calories part, you know, because, you know, a lot of people will talk about what's going to keep you alive in a food shortage situation and, um, you'll look at what's on their shelves and it's all basically dried food, you know, like rice, beans, all that kind of stuff. And of course that's going to keep you alive, right? That's going to sustain you and you need calories to function well. Um, I burn a truckload of calories just working on this farm. I probably go 10,000, 12,000 steps a day. And I don't even know how many calories I burn, but there's a lot of physical labor going on with all the stuff you see behind me. All this stuff weighs a lot because it's just water and it takes a lot of energy physically out of a human to get to you, the customer, or even if you're doing this in a garden or whatever, you know, there's a lot of energy going into that. So I need calories to survive and thrive. I couldn't just eat salad all day and work here, but 
there's a large dimension of food that I just don't see being talked about very much in at least America, except in certain circles, which I'm going to talk about later. And that's the life force part of it, um, especially with fresh food. There's stuff out there with vegetables, at least, where they'll talk about bricks content. You'll see that on the Internet. And they'll take, you know, something like my cilantro versus the grocery store cilantro, squeeze it into this little eyeglass thing that you look up into the sky and it tells you what the sugar content is of the high quality organic stuff versus the store and that's cool um, but a lot of times it's not even that significantly different and I don't personally think that tells you a whole lot or the whole story um, to me the definition of food is nourishment that you eat to help you live your life to its highest potential and Vegetables are a huge part of that, and not just vegetables, but fresh, living vegetables, living food. And people that you'll see talk about that topic are raw vegans, and I'm going to go into that next. But that is, in my opinion, how you're going to feed yourself and fuel your body to live your life to its highest potential. To illustrate what I'm talking about, all you got to do is watch the documentary Super Size Me and you see how that guy's life goes downhill by eating McDonald's for 30 days, you know. Um, and if you did the same thing with fresh vegetables in some way, shape or form and saw the transformation there, or you did like even a raw vegan version of that, um, that's going to tell you a lot about what I'm talking about. Because there's a lot of the health aspect of vegetables that you can't even tell from the vitamin standpoint where you see like, you know, kale has a lot of vitamin K or something like that, or spinach has a lot of iron, which is all good. Of course, that's all good. But there's a whole nother dimension to it, I think, that's um, missing, and it's the life force part. All of the vegetables I sell are alive when I sell them. When you eat them at home at the, from the market, when you buy the carrots that I sell and eat them that day, it is alive still. That's something you can't get from the store. And it's definitely something that most people are not consuming on a regular basis. That live part is really valuable, uh, in my opinion, because um, there's just something hot, different about how that affects you versus just eating the dried foods all the time. I, I feel differently in the wintertime than I do now because I'm eating a lot of the fresh stuff. And... Um, the real way to tell what I'm talking about is just start looking up raw vegans on the internet and watch some of their videos and you'll see a light in their eyes that I don't see in many other people. And I guess the reason I'm bringing this up is that a lot of what I sell is very expensive. Um, it's 20, 30% more than the store. I sell carrots that are $4 a bunch right now and I've sell a truckload of them, but they're very expensive. They're like a half ounce or a half a pound bunch. Um, but they're alive and they are delicious, like the sweetest carrots you're ever going to have because they're super fresh right out of the ground a few days before. Um, and I don't like charging that kind of money, but I am running a business. And at the end of the day, I have to charge enough and sell enough to pay myself and my employees. But the, uh, there is a lot of value in that $4 bunch of carrots that's not in the calories or just the nutrition part, the, uh, you know, the, the actual sugar content and protein and all of the stuff that you'd see on a nutrition label. That life force is a huge part of it. And you will feel differently by eating this kind of stuff on a regular basis. And I'm going to go into another aspect of this in this next segment. All right, so I mentioned raw vegans earlier. And I'm not a raw vegan. I don't really want to be a raw vegan. Um, but if you don't know, a raw vegan is somebody who literally only eats vegetables and fruit, pretty much. You know, there's some variations to it. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty. But if you look up people like Fully Raw Christina or Dan McDonald or John Rose on this channel on YouTube, look those people up and watch them speak, watch their face. Watch their energy levels. 
those people literally only eat fresh vegetables. They eat a ton of fresh stuff from the farmer's market and um, stuff that they grew themselves. There's an energy level there that I don't see in many other people. Um, and I can't really explain it in uh, scientific terms or anything, but they literally have done, have eaten raw vegan for years and they're living their life on another level, in my opinion. Um, and and my, the reason I think that that is, is because there is such light and life force in the food that they're eating that it gives them energy to do so many more things that the average person just isn't doing. And uh, there's another part of it that um, I know John Rose talks about this. Uh, biophotons. If you look up biophotons um, with vegetables, there is... Um, there's a special camera that can look at vegetables that are like organically grown or versus conventionally grown or fresh versus, you know, three weeks old. And it's a special camera that can tell how much light or biophotons is in that vegetable. And the stuff that's fresh like this always has light years more biophotons than the uh, conventionally or store-bought stuff. Um, and I believe the reason for that is it's alive. It's living food. And raw vegans eat almost all the food like that. And obviously their bodies are incredible. They're really healthy. Um, but it's not just about body. And that's another thing. I think in America and, uh, you know, Hollywood culture, the body is perceived as the, you know, just having a really sexy body is all you care about. But um, that life force part Allowing you to give, give you the eating food to give you the energy to live your life to your highest potential. I mean, I want to live in a world where people do that or more people are doing that. And I'm trying to do it myself. It's challenging. I definitely stress eat crap sometimes. Um, I definitely like Pringles sometimes and chocolate and all that stuff. Um, I'm not perfect at all with my diet and I'm not really even big on diets in general, but I do know there's something to this and that's why I wanted to make this video because I feel differently. A lot of those raw vegans juice like crazy. They will juice vegetables. Um, and I feel so much better when I'm drinking a green juice, like 32 ounces of green juice every day. I feel like electricity is going through my body. And it's because I'm drinking life, sunlight. This is all sunlight. In my opinion, we're eating sunlight when we eat vegetables like this. And, uh, it, it, in a, I think we are sunlight in a certain form, but, uh, and so when we eat sunlight like this, it just gives us the energy to do things to make the world a better place. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is, I think this is all part of God's plan. Um, I'm not real good at articulating this cause this is a really deep topic, but it's just something that uh, has been bouncing around my head and I wanted to get it out there because I think there's a lot more value in food like this than is commonly being talked about. So that's my thoughts on that. Um, Google those people. Hopefully you see something in what I'm talking about with them and it inspires you to not only just eat more vegetables, but grow your own stuff and um, just be a part of this movement that's happening across the country. Because I think the world is changing in, in towards eating more like this, more fresher locally and um, decentralized. And I think this life force conversation is a huge part of that.